Item number VMP 6483 Site 120 Data Release Assigned Site Site 1483 Site Director Dr. Thomas Bailey Research Head Dr. Thomas Bailey Assigned Task Force Theta 9 The Polar Express Specifications Nicholas Roberts a 70-year-old human member of Mobile Task Force Theta-9, the Polar Express. Measuring 179 centimeters in height and 104 kilograms in weight. Possesses Class 3 reality bending abilities. Per his Vanguard employment and housing agreement, he is only allowed to use autokinetic abilities during Theta-9 missions. Refer to Addendum 6483-1 for more details. Disguising visual indicators of fully realized Class 3 or above reality benders, ergo purple eyes, during civilian interactions or emergency circumstances until such a time that autokinesis has been fully integrated into baseline society. Normalization protocols. Robert will provide a benign introduction to the public of the abilities and limitations of reality warpers. A strong self-identification with the persona of Santa Claus will promote widespread acceptance of autokinetic abilities. Furthermore, his role as a cultural liaison will aid in the normalization of VMP-1483. Robert has significant experience playing the character of Santa Claus, a figure strongly associated with non-religious observations of Christmas. He has agreed to feature in Vanguard Christmas video productions, in which he will use his underconnected abilities to perform at Fitatis events. This controlled application of reality warping will demonstrate to the public that underconnected individuals can be safe, sane, and natural. The association with Santa Claus will reinforce the image of reality bending as not inherently malevolent. Roberts will serve in a public facing role within MTF Theta 9. He will be tasked with conveying cultural nuances about Christmas to representatives of the Third Antarctic Empire and will in turn be responsible for participating in Empire holiday celebrations to further develop the cultural exchange. As a cultural liaison, Robert will be permitted to perform Artit Vitati's events year-round. Robert will feature in Vanguard video productions as Santa Claus, describing holidays celebrated within the Empire as part of normalization procedures for the Third Antarctic Empire. Furthermore, due to pre-existing cultural associations between the character of Santa Claus and non-human sentient beings dwelling at Earth's poles, Santa Claus is an ideal candidate for normalizing the existence of human subspecies. Nicholas Roberts is no longer considered an anomaly under Foundation jurisdiction. He is employed under standard Vanguard job contracts for normalized personnel. His normalization consists of employment with Theta-9, with unanimous recommendation from the site 322 and Site 120 Classification Committees. Additional Information Summary of VMP 1483 Excerpt from VMP 1483 Specifications VMP 1483 is an alternate version of the continent of Antarctica. It is currently ruled by the Third Antarctic Empire, a matriarchal imperialist monarchy. The technology level of VMP-1483 is roughly equivalent to that of Baseline's late 20th century. However, mass media capabilities are limited, and most virtual recordings of Third Empire culture are in the form of films or photographs. Computing technology and VMP-1483's equivalent of the Internet are primitive. The dominant species inhabiting VNP-1483 is Homo antarcticus, which is divided into subspecies. The majority of Homo antarcticus are virtually similar to baseline humanity. However, Homo antarcticus also includes the Black Court, 
a subspecies with thick layers of body fat and fur. Menders, a cloacal subspecies with an additional pair of arms and a metal exoskeleton. And what is upon all, a subspecies that stands 2.5 meters tall, has six arms and all black eyes. Normalization Protocols The dominant normalcy preservation organization in VMP 1483 is the Imperial Institute of Paranatural and Esoteric Study, IIPES. The IIPES is not strongly affected by a local impasse, as its philosophy has always included preparing the public for interaction with the anomalous. The policies of IIPES will be revealed to determine if any are appropriate for vanguard adoption. Following the resolution of the impasse, passage to VMP-1483 was restored. VMP-1483 is a member of the inaugural class of parallel worlds to be revealed to the public. VMP-1483 was selected due to existing friendly diplomatic relations with the Third Antarctic Empire. The goals of the normalization of VMP-1483 include increasing the public's awareness of the existence and nature of parallel realities and a multiversal nexus, increasing the public's awareness of additional human subspecies, increasing the level of cultural exchange between our reality and VMP-1483, extending the Antarctic Exchange Program to civilian researchers, Normalization Details VMP 6483 Employment Details and History The following documentation was initially created by the SCP Foundation. Designations may not be fully up to date. MTF Theta 9 Overview File Designation Mobile Task Force Theta 9 The Polar Express Team Members Lauren Burns Area 179 Leon Holloway Site 19, Timothy Rayner, Site 120, Corey Chapman, Site 322, Nicholas Roberts, VMP 6483, Site 1483. Objectives Escort vital vanguard political figures towards Site 1483 via the usage of VMP 6483's teleportation capabilities to and from the entry to Universe B 10208 Alpha 1483 located in the Queen Alexandra mountain range. Transport of Third Empire personnel as part of the Antarctic Exchange. A vanguard program focused on exchanging knowledge and personnel with the Third Empire. Performance of Nartifitati's event within the Empire. For further information, refer to VNP 1483 Normalization Statement. A. The normalization of VNP 1483 on baseline Earth. History. The following is the full timeline of all events leading up to Theta 9's re-establishment. 10th of September 2021. The Impasse. A worldwide event causing the end of magic and anomalous activity caused by the actions of the SCP Foundation begins. Relieving VMP 6483 of its anomalous properties, his depression increases. Due to the universal decrease in anomalous activity, the entry to Universe B 10208 Alpha 1483 is lost leading to total accidental dissolution of the highly valuable Foundation Third Empire Alliance. MTF Theta 9 is dissolved. 23rd of November, the impasse is temporarily held off due to the actions of Dator Unfavorable pending release. Shortly after, an O5 vote forms Vanguard, effectively starting the dissolution of the SCP Foundation. VNP 6483 regains his abilities, which significantly improves his mental state. Access to the Third Empire is restored. 15th of February 2022 
VNP-1483 is now graded into the first class of alternate planes for normalization. Dr. Jesse Rivera recommends Nicholas Roberts as a possible member of diplomatic staff. The recommendation is initially denied. 24th of December, a review of the Third Empire's culture under newly instated Vanguard normalization protocols are identified as a significant factor for positive cultural exchange. For further information, refer to VNP 1483 normalization statement. 25th of December 2022, MTF Theta 9 is officially reformed. Roberts is promoted to a diplomatic role within Vanguard. VNP 1483 normalization document, transcript of VNP 1483 VMP 6483 normalization video. The following is a transcript of an educational video produced in conjunction by MTF Theta 9 and the Imperial Institute of Paranatural and Esoteric Study. The first half of the video will serve as a dramatization of a holiday ritual filmed on location. The second half will provide an educational lecture. I'd like to extend a thanks to Nicholas Roberts and Curtis Son Julien Charlotten Tanemi for their participation and the Third Antarctic Empire for embracing a new era of cooperation. Merry Christmas friends from one side of the multiversal compass to the other. Thomas Bailey, VNP 1483 Commissioner. Proof for release by T. Bailey. 25th of December, 2022. Jamadis Presenay. Kodison Jolene Sheldon Terranamin. Member of the Third Antarctic Empire. Approximately 2 meters tall and has 4 arms. Responsible for local observation of the breaking of the night. An empire-wide celebration celebrating the end of winter and the return of the sun. Played by herself. Santa Claus, a being responsible for delivering presents to children on Christmas, played by Nicholas Roberts. Dialogue in the video is in an article, though there are English subtitles. Transcript Colison Julien Chaudran Toran Neyman stands at a temple doorway, clasping her four arms together. The temple is adorned with traditional and articin furnishings, ornate carvings, and tapestries popping with bright reds and rich blues. No flicks lightly fall from the sky. She is the only one on the surface. In this month of the year, most Antarcticans dwell underground. She looks to the sky. The sound of sleigh bells echoes from the sky. A red sleigh pulls up before her, drawn by nine reindeer. The animal at the front has a glowing red nose. Santa Claus sits in the sleigh. Ho, ho, ho! A very Merry Christmas to you, come as Saint Julien shall dare the main. Greetings, Santa Claus, he empress of the North Pole. Commander of elves and reindeer, I welcome you in the name of Empress Otmohim the Sixth. First beneath the sun, upon the throne of bones. Ho, ho, ho! Much obliged. May I call you Corizan? No. Corizan Julie shall don turning me. I will give your lineage the honor it deserves. Oh, my name is Saint Nick. Ho, 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 ho! Isn't your name Santa Claus? I have many names. Ho, ho, ho! But you may call me whichever one suit your fancy. Now, join me in my sleigh. Khoisan Julien Chaudhon Tanemi joins Santa Claus in his sleigh. She is much taller than him. Where to, holy mender? Khoisan Julien Chaudhon Tanemi points at a tall mountain on the horizon. To the place where dawn meets the land, and the sun returns for the long winter. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, let's be off! Hedda cracks his reins. His sled starts to fly. He looks at the camera. Tonight, Mender closes on 
June 8th, shall to run. Tell me, me and I will be sharing some of our holiday traditions with each other. I will be sharing with her the joys of Christmas, and she will break the night. Oh, great and holy servant of the Empress, perhaps you could tell us of the significance of the breaking of the dawn. The breaking of the night is a yearly celebration in which we held the return of the sun from the blighted lands, and each of the seventeen provinces it falls to a vendor to perform a blessing upon the highest peak to welcome the sun back from her journeys through darkness. In this province, the duty for this humble servant of the empire. Ho, ho, ho! I can see that you deserve to be on the nice list. I hope that is a good thing. Well, the nice list is where all the good children go, and the naughty list is where the bad children go. On Christmas Eve, I bring the good children presents, and the bad children get no reward. So you are a hand of justice, O oh mighty northern he empress. I wouldn't say that, you see. When Christmas Eve rolls around, I find there's no such thing as a truly bad child. They arrive at the highest peak in the province. The camera pans over the Antarctic plains. The settlements below are covered in a thick layer of snowfall. Neither Santa nor Colisson Julien Chardaram Terranami are affected by the cold. There are shadows moving through the ice plains below. Carnivorous penguins migrated to civilization for the winter. I shall now perform the blessings of the awaited dawn. Close on to aim shall dawn. Tell her name Close her eyes. She extends her four arms, reaching towards the sky, pulling light from heaven to earth. A sun just forms behind her head growing to a width of twenty meters in diameter. Golden light dances across the snow-covered plains. The carnivorous penguins bark at the light. They started rolling towards the wilderness. Colisson Jule Chaudon Terranamin opens her eyes. They glow yellow, though it slowly fades. With this, I welcome the sun's safe return. Santa extends his hand to Colisandre Ling, shout around, telling naming. They return to the sleigh and take flight. When the dawn eventually comes, hunters shall emerge from the plains and slaughter any beast that yet remain. This is the sun's yearly gift to us. But aren't you hungry now? I suppose so. Ho, ho, ho. In that case, my friend, let me treat you to the Christmas dinner. Jump cut to the temple. Santa and Kamalisan Junain Shodaran Tonaming stand at the opposite ends of a table. For guests as esteemed as the He Empress of the North, the Empress would allow the finest delicacies, the most celebrated choirs. Yet you are so gracious as to bring your own. We all have our talents. Ho, ho, ho. Santa snaps his fingers. A red tablecloth appears upon the table. A stuffed roast mega penguin, sweet moss sauce, and other and articum delicacies materialize. A Christmas carol played on traditional and articum instruments is in the background. The two grab utensils and serve themselves. Yet I feel our cultural exchange has been uneven. I have shown you the blessing of the awaited dawn and the breaking of the night. What Santa is the true meaning of Christmas? Santa smiles mysteriously. His eyes twinkle. The music rises. There is a jump cut and a video tour of various holiday celebrations across the Third Antarctic Empire and Christmas celebrations at various Foundation sites, including Area 179, Site 43, Site 87, Site 120 and Site 322 over a mix of Christmas tunes. When the tour completes, the video returns to Cloison, Juling, Shodan, Terranami, and Nicholas Roberts sitting side by side facing the camera. Thank you for watching this educational film on the breaking of the dawn and Christmas. 
We hope you enjoyed our performance. I am Roy San Julian Shodron Tanimini, and this is my co-star, Nicholas Roberts. It is a pleasure working with you, Colonel San. The same to you, Nick. Now I portray myself, but you, Nick, are clearly blessed with power. But are you Santa Claus? Ha! The truth is, Colonel San, I've been playing the role of Santa Claus for many years, and I like to say I'm like Santa Claus each and every day. But I'm not a mythical he empress of the North. Even so, I try every day to embody the spirit of Christmas. For those who are not menders, who do not have blessings like yours, what does it mean to embody Christmas? That's quite the question. On my earth, Christmas is a thousand holidays celebrated as one, each meaning something different to everyone who celebrates it. There are elements of the Roman Saturnalia, the Norse Yule, and of course the Christian faith. It's celebrated across the world, from Chile to Japan, a little differently in every country, but in my heart there's one thing that's most important of all, and that might be generosity, giving, thinking of your fellow man or woman, and extending a hand to them, just like how you break the night in service of the Empress and the Empire. Being Santa is about bringing joy to those around you. Because at the end of the day, Christmas isn't about making yourself happy or the gifts you receive, but how you can touch the lives of others and give them just a taste of magic.